Hey, how's everybody doing? So this video, another video on the Humvee, or H1. Some people say it's not a Humvee. Some people say it is. To me, it's a civilian Humvee. So that's the best way to describe it. Anyway, I love this thing. So on this video, I got to take this off because I got something that I'm going to do to it. And before I can take it there, I got to remove this, which I'm going to show you guys why I'm removing it. First of all, I'll make it easier on that. Second of all, I'll show you what it's doing. And obviously, it was installed incorrectly somewhere along the line. So I want to correct it because it's mine, and I don't like it the way it is. So I'll show you guys why I'm taking it off. So I'm going to show you how I'm taking it off. And... Um, the reason why. And then when they're done with what they're doing, I'll put it back. Which, kind of curious, what you guys think? Should I keep these lights or should I put a light bar in the middle instead of having these lights? So, leave a comment and let me know. So, with any further, I'm going to show you guys. All right, so if you guys can see, you can see that this bar is too low. And it's actually, depends how you move it. It doesn't give a lot, but it's enough that it touches the paint there. Over here, not as much, but you can still see the paint. So if you look at this, it's kind of like leaning back so I am going to put spacer right here like maybe another two washers and see if I can get it to lean back a little more just so it gives me another half inch maybe that's all I'm looking for so to remove it is pretty simple. It's this right here. So I got the uh, adjustable and the socket already for it. One there, one there. Now I'm alone. So I have nobody here, everybody's pretty busy. So what I did is I took the pin and had it almost out, but not out. You'd be surprised how quick you learn when you're by yourself. So what's gonna happen is if I take the bolt off leave the pin in, I can take this pin and let it rest and then come over here and do the same and then I should be able to lift it right off of here. So it's already unhooked. Compliments of whoever had it before me. They basically, or whoever worked on it, they just cut the wires, but that's easy. I already found them. Once I figure out what I'm going to do, I'll hook them up. Like I said, not everybody takes care of your vehicle like you will, and I'm very particular. I like to make things as right as possible. So I just don't like the fact that it rubs the paint off and it's so close. And I don't want to get rid of this. I like this look. So I'm just going to have it go forward. And that should take care of it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's already, it's already spaced out, as you guys can see. This one's got already a washer on it. I'm just gonna simply put uh, another washer and have it lean at least another half inch. So I'm probably gonna have to get another three quarter inch bolt. So I had to take this off anyway. But uh, the hood's a little bit on the faded side. So I'm not gonna do much, but I am going to change it and definitely change it to uh, personalize it for myself. So you definitely need big adjustable. And on this application, about yeah, 15 16th. So, definitely, uh, it's not that bad of a deal. Like I said, I'm leaving the pin in. There we go. 
go. First one off. So it is so nice out. It really is beautiful out. Of course, it's going to rest against there. I'll do. I always uh, put the nut back on. Reason for that is if I drop it or anything like that, I don't strip the threads. That's very important. Uh, so that's that one. And then we got this one. guys anymore. I hope I had my Wheaties today because this is not going to be a light situation. But well, I did that a little too quick. I might still need my rocks. I forgot I did that on the other side. I got to back it off all the way. There's that. That's really uh, some really long big bolts. Now comes the uh, see if my idea works. If not, this could go real bad real fast because it's definitely not light. So this one, just one of these is really easy to take out. The other one isn't. So I'm going to go for the most difficult one. That one's out. You guys can see that's loose. As soon as I get a little loose, I should be able to I mean should be able to slide that out. Ta-da! There you go guys, if you have two people, probably be easier, but one person, it's not too bad, and you can rest it up against there, it's not touching the rim, so, alright. Yeah, I definitely don't like it without it. There's no doubt about it. It's going back on. But anyway, this is what I was getting at. This here now, I can actually work on this. Um, and basically, it already it does have washers here. So I definitely want to tilt it more. And... Um, who knows, I might actually space it out a little more. I'm not sure which way I want to do that, but um, I'm definitely going to work on that. And uh, there'll definitely be a video once I uh, get everything done that I want to get done, but you guys can see what it was doing to the paint. I mean, that's not cool. So, you guys can see this part you really couldn't see it before but this that's uh, putting a little bit of wear in there and 
I didn't want that. So, I mean, it's an old Hanvi, so, but I still wanna, looks like they put this new. That's fairly new. Like I said, these guys, I'll pull them off. I don't know if I'm gonna powder coat them, but we'll see. All right guys, so there you have it. I removed it on my own. Yes. It was a little bit tricky, but it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. It is heavy, there's no doubt about that. So I'll put it in the other garage for now. And definitely let me know what you guys think. If you guys want, think I should leave those lights, which I'm telling you right now, under the covers, those lights don't look good. So if I do get that, if I do stay with that design, I'm gonna to have to buy new ones just because those those are covered and I don't think they were ever used and they just don't look right. So I'm thinking being that the way this vehicle is is square. I personally think I might if I can find a light bar that will fit in the middle there. And I can get my buddy to do some uh, magic with welding and filling in and stuff like that if I have to. Maybe repainting it. I don't think I can powder coat it, but I'll tell you right now, if I can powder coat this thing, that'll probably even be a better idea because then it'll last me a lot longer. Uh, sandblast it, powder coat it, and uh, probably while I'm at it, powder coat the, uh, the actual hinge that attaches to the frame. That might not be a bad idea. I did that with the uh, R8 rims, and it's awesome. I mean, a little bit of a, basically Windex. Not Windex. Let's correct that. Windex. What came that? Pledge. You're using Pledge, shines, and uh, being that it's going to be in the front, it's going to take a lot. And it looks like someone already painted it, and they painted some areas, some areas not. It might not be a bad idea, maybe. If I can find somebody that will powder coat something that big, I don't know if somebody will or not, but I'm definitely going to check into it. And if I do, you guys will know. So if you guys enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. And if you subscribe, thanks for your support. And uh, definitely stay tuned to the next video because there is definitely some changes coming to this Humvee. And, uh, should be the near future. This COVID-19 has got things so messed up that uh, makes it a little tough to uh, get things done, but I do get them done. So, all right, guys, take care, stay safe. See you guys in the next video.